Hey, peace, love, and blessings, fam. Hey, look, I want to tell you I love you today. If you stuck at home, if you taking the time to grow within yourself, to grow with your family, to understand yourself, kudos. If not, once this is over, because it has been extended, and you wonder why you left behind, you wonder why the people that used to deal with you don't deal with you, the only person you can blame is yourself. Now is the time for self-reflection. Now is the time for self-correction. Just like we're going through a reprogramming of society. It's crazy that certain things are being taught to people right now as if they didn't have home training growing up. Like just general distance and respecting a person's difference. Covering your mouth, washing your hands. Why should that be anything that has to be taught to you through a pandemic? Why? It's because in order to re form the mind in order to reshape a person's perspective you have to start on the lowest levels now the best way you can start on the lowest level is while you're at home study yourself meditate look within yourself think about some of the cognitive distortions that i've went over in the past that you may do that you're not able to do now why because there's so much other stuff going on people don't have time for unnecessary bs People are trying to do what they do and get home. Even those that are out, even those that are not afraid to be in sunlight and let mother nature heal you. Most of those people are running, working out, meditating, doing something to benefit them. Stop being afraid of yourself. Stop being afraid to look within your own mind. Stop being afraid to look within your own heart because that is the only thing that's going to heal you. This pandemic that's going on is more vibrational and frequency than it actually is targeting you with a sickness. Because most of the people that are getting sick are already sick, or already have immune issues. Now, the reason why I say it's a vib vibrational frequency thing is because technology is involved in this. Y'all see 5G being pushed out everywhere, but you don't realize the ramifications that's coming from that that's going to affect your body, your life, your mind, just for you being able to download a movie in one second. So you tell me, is it worth it at the end of the day? Because when you start looking up 5G and understanding that this technology is going to affect you in a completely different way, that it's really going to kill everything around you, even your sales from the inside out, then you understand why your technology has to be upgraded. Your brain is a computer. Your body is a living machine. It is a form of technology that humans have not been able to create yet on their own. So you have to learn to eat properly. You have to learn to meditate. You have to learn to keep your frequency higher than everything else around you. That's why BS gets put out of the way. Not only that, get you some different forms of technology. Crystals, stones, look up Shungite and see how Shungite absorbs negativity. Look up Oregon. We have pyramids that you can use that block that 5G energy, that literally absorb negative energy. It can help you with your emotions. It can help you balance your chakras. It can help you with a lot of different things that go on in your body. So yeah, take that time. Coach Sobek Alegwa, I'm telling you, get your game up. Now is the time for you to reevaluate yourself, reevaluate your mind, and see which direction you want to go. Because this is the crossroads. Remember that song with Bone, Meet Me at the Crossroads? That crossroads was a gulf that we are crossing. So are you going to cross over into a high vibration or are you gonna stay behind and sulk and wallow and be upset about everything that you have control over in your life? Because right now, you have more control than you believe. Know that, walk in love and walk in peace.